So now let's start adding three more folders, something like any directory, pickles directory and test DLL directory to execute our automation test using the NUnit console and see how we can work from there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say NUnit directory and then here I'm going to say NUnit dir is equal to dollar current directory plus slash you can see it will automatically bring the option for me right and the one which we are looking for is the udemy reporting slash test harness right and within this test harness we are going to be looking for n unit and within n unit we actually require the n unit console runner dot exe which is nothing but the console dot exe so all we have to do is we don't have to specify all this full option because the current directory actually has location for us f colon udemy reporting slash test harness so i'm just going to concatenate until right here all right so this is going to be the n unit directory and then what i'm going to do i'm going to create the pickles directory so let's add this as pickle directory and then here let's call this as uh, pickles dir is equal to dollar current directory plus we know what is the directory name it is going to be the pickles and within this pickles we are actually looking for this pickles slash exe so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy the path and then let me paste it right here and i really don't require these options that's why we have the current directory so everything looks good all right so this is going to be the pickle directory and then let's try to add the test tll directory where our actual test is sitting so if you go back to our ea test project our test project has the DLLs in the EA employee test project. So if I go to the particular project using the open folder in File Explorer, and if I go to the bin, debug, and this is where our, our tests are actually sitting, right? And you can see that our employee EA employee test DLL is responsible for holding all the tests. So I'm just going to copy this path and then let's give a name for this particular uh, DLL so I'm going to just create a variable here and I'm going to paste it right here so this is going to be my EA employee test projects DLL we need to execute the NUnit test right now and see how things works so for doing that what I'm going to do I'm just going to do a very very simple thing this time all I'm going to do is just do a very very small housekeeping stuff maybe write host starting in unit test and then I'm just gonna say dollar n unit directory and dollar test DLL you will see you'll get an exception there or error there just put an ampersand so that it will act as a command I'm just gonna save it and then once it is done we will run our pickles report to be generated and it will store the report into the pickles report folder so starting pickles report generation we'll also write one more host information here maybe and then here what i'm going to do i'm just going to add the ampersand dollar pickles directory and within this pickle directory we need to add command for the pickles once again we have already discussed about the commands in our previous videos so i'm just going to add those commands right here but before doing that let's quickly run this and see how it works so what I'm going to do I'm just going to comment this for now I'm just going to save it and let's try to execute this code and see how it works so what I'm going to do I'm just going to execute this particular uh, test harness.ps1 so I'm just going to call test harness.ps1 here and now it should automatically open the browser for us and perform the operation let's see how it works all right it seems like it is opening the browser very good and it should run three tests for us so it is running the first test second test third test there we go everything's done but we did not write any code to close the browser yet so probably we have to write that in our framework so that it will be done and you can see 
that this time it has executed three tests for us and three tests got passed and failed is zero inconclusive is zero and then it is saving the result in the test result.xml file but there is some problem here every time i run from the ise the test result.xml file will not be created and it and it won't generate the test result.xml file it will keep on running so i'm just going to stop it for now even it will be keep on saying the status stopping so probably for executing our any unit it is always advisable that you run that from the powershell console instead of running from the ise right all right so now we are going to add the pickles directory and within this pickle directory before adding that it is very very important that we add some more folders something like the test result folder which actually has the test result.xml file and then the zipped pickle folder which is going to hold the zipped pickles file and then we are going to create one more folder which is going to hold the spec feature directory right so which is nothing but the feature file directory so i'm just going to create all these uh, three different folders here so for doing that the first one is the pickles report directory so i'm just going to say pickles report directory is equal to dollar current directory oops it seems like we have to close this ise else it will not respond so i'm just going to save it and then i'm going to close this ise and let's open the isc once again in the administrator mode all right so now if i try to perform the operation like current directory everything will work cool and then we have created that under what is called as the pickles report i guess let's quickly see what is the folder name that we gave while creating it's pickle report all right so let's add that here pickles uh, report directory and once we have a pickle report directory we also need to have the spec flow feature file directory where you can actually see the spec flows so i'm going to say the spec flow feature directory and this feature directory is available within your project right this guy the feature folder so i'm just going to open right here and this is the folder so as of now we are just hard coding those values maybe you can pass this as a parameter if you want to so i'm just going to add them spec flow feature directory and then we also need to have the in unit test report directory right so the test report is nothing but our test result.xml file so we need to add that as well so let's add that here test result is equal to dollar oops dollar current directory test result dot xml file and the last thing we need to do is to add the parameter for the pickles which is going to be something like this so i'm just going to add the pickles report directory for the output directory and this is the uh, spec flow feature directory so it is also available right here and then we have the test result format which is any unit for the any unit 3 and the link result which is nothing but the test result this guy format which we need to generate is going to be the dhtml and we have something called as sn and the application version probably we'll talk about that in upcoming videos of this particular course so i'm just going to save it and let's quickly run this and see how it works so for that as I already said, I'm going to open the PowerShell console this time instead of running it in ISE. And part of the reason is because we always see that the test result will keep on generating, but it won't generate the file, right? I'm just going to navigate to f colon slash udemy, udemy reporting slash test harness. And here is where our test harness at PS1 is available. So I'm just going to execute that and see how things works so right now it seems like the browser is opened just is damn fast all right and now you can see that it has generated the test result.xml file without any problem test completed starting the pickle report generation as we wrote and then pickles report completed you know what is happening behind the scene it is generating the pickled reports for us and also 
It is adding the testresult.xml file into the pickles reports. Let's quickly see how it looks like. So for that I'm going to navigate to our test harness folder and we have the pickles report right here. Right? This is the folder which we gave. So if I open this, you can see that we have a tick mark there. And part of the reason is because we have integrated the testresult.xml file into our pickles report as well. So cool, right? And now if I go to the show overview, you can see that the passing scenarios is three and it will show you what is passed. And if there is any failure, then you'll also have the failure in the report. So if you want to try out the failure, if you want to see how the failure looks like, let me quickly go to the uh, project right here. And if I make any changes to any one of it, maybe let's go to the employee feature and here let's say click the employee link i'm just going to say instead of click employee list let's say if i just uh, say employee lists and build the solution all right and now if i try to run this particular test you can see that we should be getting some kind of exception this time there we go we got one exception we should be getting another exception as well and it is finding for one element to be available which is also not available all right so we have three test run no passed all failed and uh, now let's quickly go over here to the pickles report and let's run this and see what happens oh my god everything got failed show or view three failing scenarios all failed Right. So this is how you can see that our pickles report is also integrating the test result.xml file within itself.